This is episode number 250 of the Middle Country Public Library Podcast. What a nice number mm. for our mm-hmm. annual Thanksgiving trivia episode. Coming to you a day early, I'm Sal DiVincenzo, joined as usual by my fabulous colleagues, Sarah Fade Hi. and Nicole Rambo. Hello. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Happy mm. Thanksgiving. Oh, so exciting. You know, so what usually happens is I go to Statista, right? Mm-hmm. I download all these different reports. I make up the, the trivia. Yeah. That's what usually happens yes. for her. And Sarah goes nuts over the price <laughs> of turkey in a can or whatever like that. Yeah. So when I was prepping for this episode... I discovered that Statista <clears throat> has not run a report for 2022. Oh, no. And I think it would be That's weird. important, seeing as that we are, quote unquote, in a potentially in a recession, inflation, all this kind of stuff, economy, right, mm-hmm. right. all these prices and everything like that are going crazy. Mm-hmm. So in lieu of us talking about turkey and stuffing mm-hmm. and all this stuff that people are going to be eating uh, this week. I took out a book from the library. (laughs) Oh, God. (laughs) Can we go back to talking about stuffing? (laughs) (laughs) This is the the ultimate book of pub trivia by the smartest guy in the bar, Austin Rogers. Now, Austin Rogers is a uh, two-time Jeopardy winner, and he is also a... So he's not Ken Jennings. He's also a uh, New York City bartender. So it's a pretty cool uh, book. We'll have it in the show notes. Sorry, zero, Austin. That's rude. <laughs> zero, I, can't, I can't even like answer two questions on Jeopardy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a zero three one point zero two. Rogers is the uh, is the call, and like I said, we have uh, we have a couple copies here in the collection. So right. I thought I'd pick. I, I went through this. I thought <laughs> I'd pick twelve different subjects. Okay. Okay. You're gonna see the answer. Um, no, it's all right. Oh, yeah, she won't see, I the, answer see the picture because I, I I pulled I pulled a bunch of stuff out here. So we have twelve different subjects that each of you will be able to pick, and we'll do uh, a few rounds of this and see how it goes. Okay. 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 So like Jeopardy? Uh, no, not like Jeopardy. Oh. Just uh, <laughs> you know. Well, you like pick the category. All right. So I tr- I try. Yeah, there are categories. <laughs> <laughs> there are categories. Um. <laughs> These are the categories, yeah. okay, that you will be able to pick from, and we'll go back and forth, and we'll see how you all do. <laughs> all right, and you can go back and pick the category again if you wish. So literally, like Jeopardy, Sal. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but you won't have to. You won't have to answer in the form question. of a question. Oh, okay. okay. How about that? But we will. Yeah. yeah. Well, anyway. Okay. So these. Are, so it's just like Jeopardy. These are the categories for those folks who are uh, maybe basting your turkey right now. You're listening to our podcast on your on your AirPods or whatnot. These are the subjects that you can play along with us. Okay. Um, yeah. No one's listening. Uh, 1999. <laughs> uh-huh. Back to the Future. Okay. Mm. Books, of mm-hmm. course, I had to put that in there. Mm-hmm. Chain restaurants, of course, I had to put that in there. Dogs, mm-hmm. for, for friends, TV show, as in the TV show. Okay. Mm-hmm. Junk food, mm-hmm. random stuff you might know. Okay. Random stuff you might not know. Okay. Yeah. Sequels, as in movie sequels, okay. and things about Star Wars. Oh okay. no. Okay. You'll get it. <laughs> so, You're an now. so <laughs> before we uh, before we started the episode, before I hit record, we flipped a coin, and uh, I don't know. Nicole got to go first. Okay. <laughs> so Nicole, pick a subject here. Okay. These are the subjects. Um, chain restaurants for four hundred. Chain restaurants. <laughs> All right. So you said four hundred. So I'll give you question number four. Okay. On this list, how about that? You can choose one through ten. How about that? Literally. Yes. Just like Jeopardy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Go ahead. So I I'm think ready. you picked. I think you picked a good one here because. David Lynch probably hates the name of this Dallas-based res- restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> Texas Roadhouse? What? No. I don't know. The answer is Twin Peaks. The name oh. of the restaurant. Can I just uh, show you, there's a misprint in the book, and uh-huh. it doesn't say restaurant. It says restaurant. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if that's on purpose or not. To have some, oh, Twin Peaks. Twin Peaks, Peaks is yes. Peaks. Y- yeah, I don't think that's on purpose. I, w- I think it, that is on purpose. It wouldn't have. Oh, it is on purpose. Uh, yeah, yes, it's one of those yeah. uh, Hooters type places. Oh, okay, I get it. No, but it's Twin Peaks though. Why would, yes, Texas Roadhouse was was his other other film, right? David Lynch's other film, <laughs> Texas Roadhouse. <laughs> 
That's not a chain restaurant. All right, fine, go ahead. Zero points. So, yeah. <laughs> it is a chain, it's a it's chain a, restaurant in, in, somewhere. In Dallas. In Dallas, yes. And it's called Twitter. Okay, Sarah. Yes. You, you get to pick now. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're off to a real great start. <laughs> we'll go 1999. 1999. Okay, so 1999 for 200. <laughs> it took only 19 nominations, but in 1999, this soap actor finally won a daytime Emmy. Oh, Miss Susan Lochin. Correct. Yeah. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah. Sarah that. gets yeah. a point. That's a good one. Very good. Okay, Nicole, round two. Okay, uh, random stuff you might know for 300. Random stuff you might know mm-hmm. for 300. Viral photo website The Chive mm-hmm. sells BFM t shirts that feature a picture of this actor in 3D glasses. Oh, I would have gotten this because I am, I am a lifetime misfit at The Chive. <laughs> what? Okay. What is it? Viral photo website yeah, The Chive. Know. You know The Chive. Chive. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. yes. Sells BFM t shirts yeah. that feature a picture of this actor, yeah. this legendary comedian, okay. in 3D glasses. I don't even know to look at the answer. Oh, I have no idea. It stands for his first name, a curse word for the F, and then his last name. Bill Murray? Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm going to have to give Sarah a hint if she knows so Yes. Yes. Bill Murray. Very good. Okay. Sarah, you're round two. Question. Pick a category. I'll just go down the list. Back to the future. Back to the future. For? I'm not doing books. You have one. one. For one. Okay. <laughs> President Reagan said, where we're going, we don't need roads during this annual address. The inaugural address? This annual. annual address. I'll, I'll, oh. let you, I'll let you. I'll let you. <laughs> uh... State of the Union? Yes, correct. <laughs> the pressure was on there after that. Was like, All oh right, my God. very good. <laughs> um, okay, I Nicole, pick a category. I don't know anything about the show, friends. All right, we'll go junk food. Junk food for? 500. 500. Serving wines, olives, breads, and stews, this popina was a fast food restaurant in the lower classes of this ancient society. What? What? Oh. Olive uh, Garden? No. Oh. It's, it's, it's junk food. <laughs> Wait, I don't understand. What? what Serving is wines, question? olives, breads, and stews. Okay. This popina. P-O-P-I-N-A. I don't know what a popina is. Oh, I'm sorry. Maybe it's popina. I don't know. Like you pop in. It was a fast food restaurant for the lower classes of this ancient society. So pick an ancient society. There's probably only two. Uh-huh. That you would pick yeah. that the ancient society that would have wine, olives, bread, and stews. What do you think it would be? What ancient Greeks? society? No, you picked the wrong Romans? one. Romans. Romans. Oh. Yes. <laughs> yes. What, 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 what? How does that relate to junk food? Uh, Romans is the answer. Yes, Romans. Is <laughs> <laughs> the Roman Empire. I, I was gonna be like M and M's. Like, <laughs> yeah, no, it was very cer- confusing. They yeah. cer- well, I do know for a fact they had they had the Olive Garden back then because they found <laughs> the ancient signs for the Olive Garden. <laughs> Which was a olive and a flower next to it, and it was Hospitaliano, Hospitaliano, endless, endless breadsticks. In. Okay, I didn't like that one. I didn't like that either. Okay, well, maybe Sarah will pick another right. junk food question, or she'll pick something else. Books, books. All right, we better get these <laughs> right. And uh, you for get five. to choose for five hundred. Boccaccio's 14th century book, The Decameron. Seven young women and three men spend two weeks telling stories to pass the time while escaping this demographic disaster. Mount Asuvius? Pompeii? No. The Black Death. Oh. Oh, you do. Sorry. Yikes. Okay. Well, on that uplifting yeah. yeah. now. <laughs> yes. um, okay. All right, Nicole. Random you stuff you might not know. Well, Random I haven't known anything, you so might you'll, you'll ace it. Yeah. This one you'll so get. This one, yeah, get. this one you'll get. Okay, random stuff you might know. Uh, you get to pick. 800. 800. Lithium is this atomic number. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, lithium is um, this atomic six? number. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That. 22. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's uh three. It's close. I was kind of close. Pretty close. Three goes into six. I thought six. it was up high. Uh, you know, like yeah, pretty yeah. close. 
All right. Well, Sorry. That's okay. All right. <laughs> All right. Although you don't we're have to keep flipping it. Okay, we're doing great here. Uh, uh, dogs. Dogs. Okay. For, so, uh, nine. For nine. You should go with ten. Come on. You pick expert. ten. <laughs> well, it's going to be... It doesn't go in hard... Like, it's yeah. just gonna be like Clifford. But it's just remember like that real... this just remember this author, the junk food was about the ancient Romans. I know, I was gonna say times. who knows what So get ready for nine hundred. <laughs> <laughs> Harry Nielsen's song One was most famously performed in a nineteen sixty nine cover by this band. So obviously <laughs> Does this got to do with dogs? The Beagles. Think about it. Nineteen sixty nine. Oh, think about it. <laughs> band from nineteen sixty nine. Hound dogs. With maybe dog in in their name, <laughs> three dog nine. Yes, correct. <laughs> Good job. Oh my goodness! I wish this was a video podcast yeah. because her eyes just rolled double time back into her head. Terrible. This I feel is, like these are misleading. Thanksgiving in a can all over again. <laughs> all right, Nicole, all right, pick another one. Sequels for six hundred. Sequels for six hundred. This notoriously bad 1993 video game movie's closing scene teased a sequel that fortunately never happened. Mortal Kombat? No, Super Mario Brothers. Oh, well, they're making another one now. <laughs> they are making yeah. another one now, but it's not a sequel. No, it's not the sequel. And I hear that uh, Chris Pratt, Chris Pratt. Did is not like his voice. Well, well why do they pick him? Yes. Why does he have to be in everything? I know. I tell you. There's got to be another Chris they could pick. I know. And the, the guy's name is Mario. I think it should be a nice Italian-American who does the well, voice. What about the Chris uh, De Messina? <laughs> or Christmas, the one who was on like the Mindy Project? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. He's good. Yeah. It's not, is it live action? It's yeah. it's uh, No, it's animated. Oh. Yeah. I was like, I don't like him. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'll go with Friends. Friends. Dun, 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 dun. For seven. For seven. All right. In a 1985 Tampax ad, Courtney Cox became the first person to ever say this word in this context on U.S. television. There's so many things I could say. Well, this is interesting, actually. I didn't it's realize probably, that this word wasn't used. It's, yeah, it's probably... Menstruation? <laughs> no. Period. 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 All right, yeah. period. You got yeah. period right, yeah. yes. Thank you got you. period right. Congratulations. Oh. Yeah, we thank you, <laughs> Courtney Cox. Good for you, Courtney. Good for you, Courtney Cox. All right, Nicole, we have plenty of time. Pick okay. another one. <laughs> Things about Star Wars. Things about Star Wars 4? Uh, 200. 200. It's going to be like the st actual Star Wars that happened with Russia. This is actually pretty interesting, this question. This yep, goes back to our. It is. This goes back to our, perhaps goes back to our Star Wars discussion. Ooh. All right. All right. See if I was paying attention. After a child psychiatrist suggested that Luke Skywalker needed outside confirmation about Darth Vader's villainy, George Lucas added this character to the script of The Empire Strikes Back. What? So, I, I get, I get so Luke saying. Skywalker needed yeah. confirmation that Darth Vader was a bad dude. Yeah. So really? this character was added. To show how bad. To show how bad. Really? Yeah. So who pretty much gave Luke the rundown in Empire Strikes Back? Which one was that? The second one. Mm. <laughs> I think he's little. The second movie or the second? The second movie, yeah. Empire but Strikes like which, which the second, like the prequels, the second no, one? No, no, no. no. Oh, no, the second old, in the original. 76, 79. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Yoda? Yes, correct. Oh. <laughs> yes. As, <laughs> as Sarah is making Yoda <laughs> pantomime. <laughs> <laughs> okay we'll do a couple more rounds oh all right gosh. sarah pick it i don't one. like it can i just pick one out of the book i don't know like <laughs> um i'm gonna go junk food junk food you can pick all right i will <laughs> i pick... don't know what we've done and done <laughs> okay i'll pick one that maybe is more you know pick the hardest one <laughs> yeah. you know. in 2002 time magazine named this treat number one on its list of top 10 iconic junk foods Top 10 iconic. I'm just going to say iconic junk food. Yeah, I get it. The Hershey bar? Is it specific mm. like name brand? Yeah, or it's a name. It's a thing. I'll give you a hint since, since you know, we're doing hints today yeah. for today's episode. But uh, this junk food is notoriously known to last forever, even though it probably doesn't. But they say, you know. The Gobstopper? Oh, like the devil dog? I think you're thinking a little too much. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, you mean like if it it will survive Twinkie? Yes. Oh, the Twinkie. Yeah, that's the, the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it will survive a holocaust. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. nuclear yeah. Uh, nuclear holocaust. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Twinkie. All right, I want chain restaurants again. I I okay. feel like all right. We'll give you chain restaurants. <laughs> that was it. What is the most famous chain all right. restaurant <laughs> in seventeenth century? <laughs> You yeah. should get this because you've been <laughs> in the Germanic. You've been you've been to California. I have, yeah. And I've talked in and about out burger. I've talked about this. <laughs> relax. I've talked it about is. this restaurant after a corporate realignment. Both, in and both Carl's Jr., which yeah. is one of my favorite fast food restaurants yeah. of all time, and Hardee's oh. have a smiling one of this as a logo. A hamburger, <laughs> hamburger, a cheeseburger. What's the what's the Oh, a star. Yes. yes. Yeah, that's uh, a, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yes, the star I was like, I had star. a heart. We, uh, down south. We yes. had both of those. It's Hardee's are down south and Carl's Jr. is in the west, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's west. the name of the restaurant is down south? No, no. I, I went to school oh. down when I literally lived yeah. in oh. the south. I was like, wow. Yeah, Hardee's All right. was yeah, the star. Yeah, All right. That's right. Sarah, you pick and then we'll have more. one more round. Well, I'm going to give dogs another chance, even though that one was <laughs> terrible. Okay, I'll try to pick something that makes more more sense for you. King Charles Spaniels, Yorkshire Terriers, and Chihuahuas are all classified by this terminology. What class would this be if you were watching, for example, uh, after the parade uh, today, if you're the listening West, on Thanksgiving, yeah, you know, the, the, dog, the show. dog show, what would be this, oh. the class of toy? I just gave it away. <laughs> what would be the class of toy? You might want to pick another one. <laughs> yeah. Would it be the toy? Piece? Yes, it would be the toy class. Yes, I gave it away. That's fine. Yeah. But I'll give you one more question because, you know, most experts agree that this breed of working dog is the most intelligent. Would it be the uh, Australian Shepherd? No, the Border Collie. I was going to say the Collie. Yeah. yeah. All right. Final round for this year's trivia, Thanksgiving trivia. Nicole, you get to pick one more. Okay. Oh, let's go with. Pick maybe something that we haven't done yet. Have we, we done, did them, them all? all? Oh, we did them all? Yeah, we went down We the did list. Friends? Oh, yeah, I guess we did do Friends. Yeah, yeah. Courtney, yeah it's... Courtney and her period. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's right, yeah. Okay. All right, let's go 1999. 1999. All right. One of my uh, favorite movies of all time. Actor Ron Livingston has said, that's kind of a heavy load to carry when people tell him they quit their jobs after being inspired by his role in this 1999 comedy. The Office. Space, office space. Yes. <laughs> the office oh, space. Oh, she pulled that one out. <laughs> I was like, office, I know this movie. Office space, yes. That's such a good movie. Very good, very good. And Sarah, you get to pick one more for this year's episode. Oh, um, I still say PC a little better. Let's go with random stuff you might know. Random stuff Sarah Fade might know. Here it comes, the last question. Here we go, here we go. All right. Mm. Famous for playing a TV doctor. This British comedian's writing and acting partner for nearly 20 years was Stephen Fry. Fry and... You know this. I don't. Know. Yes, you do. I don't. Know. TV doctor. TV doctor. Fry and... <laughs> what? House. Who's, who played House? Oh, uh, that guy. Yes, that's right. Correct. <laughs> Hugh, Hugh Laurie. It was... Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, it was Fry and that guy. One, <laughs> what is he saying? His partner is Fry? Yeah, have Stephen you ever seen Fry. have you seen Fry and Laurie the, the the British television show? Probably not. No. If you're looking at me that way. So. <laughs> anyway, right. Sal, you get a question. Oh, too. I get a question. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. We'll what, each what? pick one question for you. Okay. Okay. This is called Urban Dictionary. Do you even know what Urban Dictionary is? Yes, okay. I do. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> that's that, that's the question. That hurt. <laughs> yeah. that, that cut. <laughs> that cut deep. That's the question. That cut deep. <laughs> Go for it. Uh, all right, I had to find a good one here. Make it appropriate, because the Urban moment, Dictionary yeah. can get kind of raunchy. Urban Dictionary says that 10 minutes is the maximum attention span for this Google-owned website. YouTube. Yeah. All right. There we I go. Really, mm, yes. I understand. Sorry, I say one. How is that Urban Dictionary? And speaking, of yeah, YouTube, and speaking of YouTube, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. How about that there for a go. segue? Mm-hmm. Okay, Sarah. Okay. All right. Here we go. Uh, it's called Taglines. Okay. Ooh. Difficulty level one. <laughs> 100 okay movie tagline paul sheldon used to write for a living now he's writing to stay alive oh do you want a hint well i'm going to guess that it is the stephen king movie 
Misery. Correct. Oh. All right. Looks <laughs> like we showed it. A Friday film. There you go. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. That. Well, thank you, Sarah and Nicole, for once yeah. again uh, making this uh, a pleasant episode <laughs> of very little. <laughs> That's not what the category was saying. <laughs> very... Well, I'm... In our prep. defense, they were really out there. It was yeah. like six, papina. At least I know what a papina yeah. pop, is. Papina. Papina. Yeah. Papina. Yeah. papina. Yeah. Six degrees yeah. of uh, yeah. dogs in uh, <laughs> chain restaurants. Yes. So once again, the book is The Ultimate Book of Pub Trivia, Pub Trivia by the Smartest Guy in the Bar by Austin Rogers. He's a New York City bartender and a two-time Jeopardy winner. Maybe you will take it out this weekend instead of going shopping for Black Friday. And uh, it's also a great book to have in the house. I was going to say, if you're hosting Thanksgiving, it exactldn't be fun yeah. to do after. You don't want, yeah, yeah, afterwards, you don't want to talk to the family. You just want yeah. to do this kind of stuff. Or you can all participate as a family. Or you yeah. could do that, too. <laughs> I remember we used to play, like, categories um, after... Like on uh, Christmas, we used to like place categories, mm. and I remember when I was little, so I couldn't play. But I remember my parents like playing Trivial Pursuit all the time. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it's true. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's a good yeah. stuff. Yeah. So thank you so much for listening. If you want to listen to our older episodes or our show notes, visit our website mcplpodcast dot com. Uh, hit the like button again. Hit the subscribe button again. So this way now it just cuts out what you just did. So doesn't it unsubscribe you and unlike it? Okay, great. <laughs> uh, but anyway, listen, folks. Have a very happy Thanksgiving. Thank you again for uh, for another wonderful year. We're thankful for our listeners, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. Thank you for our listeners and and, and, and our patrons. And uh, and just a reminder that if you don't feel like going out on uh, on Friday and shopping, you can always oh, yeah. come to the library because we are open all weekend long. So definitely take advantage of that. So for Sarah Fady and Nicole Rambo, I'm Sal DiVincenzo. We'll see you on the next show. <laughs>